Good morning and good to Chaydesh. Welcome to the Daily Tanya. Today is Wednesday, the first day of Adar. Meshanich Nasada Mabim Besimcha. Let's start with the Tzedakah, Kadayla Tzedakah, Shemekarevet Sesageula. And we continue in chapter 29, where we're learning about crushing down the evil and to put it down, the evil impulse. So uh, we learned yesterday how when it comes certain points that a person is not able to to arouse feelings to be that the, the heart should feel and there sometimes the heart is just unresponsive to feelings of love and fear of Hashem. And although we, the Alter Rebbe t- teaches us that the main thing is should be with serving Hashem Basimcha with joy, with happiness, but sometimes there's to certain extreme situations that you need to bring the Yetzirah down, bring the evil impulse to put him in its place. So yesterday we discussed about the one method, and that is to realize who do we identif- identify with. We're not tzaddikim. A tzaddik identifies with his godly soul. And his whole reality is the godly reality. But the average person identifies with the animal soul. Our desires are animal desires. And this is really something that conceals the truth. Because the reality is Hashem. Hashem is the true reality of everything. So, so, so yesterday we learned how one should uh, crush the Yetzirah, crush the Nefesh is the evil inclination, the animal soul. And in order to allow the godliness to catch fire, to, to catch the fire of godliness, and as the, men, as the metaphor we used from the Zohar, that when you have a very thick log that doesn't catch fire, you have to splinter into, into small pieces. And today, the Rebbe continues that in addition to the fact of thinking about the true reality of what the person, of what the the animal soul is that is so low and all the and how the person is in a very low place also the the, the next method is to rage to rage against the Nefesh Bahamis. in other words the first method is you, uh, we're talking to ourselves realizing that we identify with the animal soul and therefore by crushing and humbling ourselves, it brings us to a broken heart and the broken heart allows to um, connect more to spiritual. Uh, But the second method is not to humble ourselves, so to speak, but it's more to get our true self to rage against the animal soul. Because once you already have your broken heart and you feel that you are in such a low level, as far as the animal soul goes, you tap in deeper to your true self, which is the godly soul, because ultimately the godly soul is deep, as we mentioned yesterday, in the essence of every Jew. In essence, although it's not the reality that we sense but when you get to broken heart you can sense a little of this reality and you use that and you rage against the Yetzirah against the animal soul and you say how dare you how dare you to conceal the truth to conceal godliness Hashem creates us every single moment Hashem is here right Right now, just before as he was before the world, the world was created, this Hashem is the real reality. So how dare you? And he's using all kind of languages to scream. 
not to scream with the mouth, but to scream in your mind against the Yetzirah, to rage against them. So let's see inside how the Alter Rebbe explains this. Says the Alter Rebbe, V'hine kol basha yarech ben yoni meilo v'machashavte v'gam b'yoni b'svarim. The longer he reflects on these matters, both in his own thoughts and by delving deeply into the books, which speaks of these matters, we're talking about the matters of how low the, nef- the, the person he is in compared to the truth, to, in compared to the godliness, and how far we are. In order to break down his heart within him and render himself shamed and despised in his own eyes. As it is written in the scriptures, so utterly despised that he despises his very life. Because when you think about those things, you think about what is the life that we live? We live a, a life of a lie. We live a life of a facade that the Yetzirah, the evil inclination, puts in front of us. Is this the life that I want to live? I want to live a godly life. So when you break down within yourself, you humble yourself. The more he despises and degrades thereby, the Sitra Acher, casting it down to the ground, and humbling it from its haughtiness and pride and self-exaltation, wherewith it exalts itself over the light of the divine soul's holiness, obscuring its radiance. So the more you're crushing yourself, your animal self, the more it crushes down and it brings, it deflates that arrogance and the, of, of this other side that conceals the godliness. And then the Alter Rebbe goes on to say the next method. Once it's already, you're able to, you have a broken heart, then you sense you 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 tap into your deeper essence, which is the godly soul, and then you use this and you scream, you rage against the animal soul. You should also thunder against it, against the sitra ach, the other side, with a strong and raging voice, in order to humble it. As our sages said, a person should always rouse the good impulse against the evil impulse. As it is written, rage and sin not. So the raging is screaming on the Yetzer or on the Nefesh Abahamis not going into arguments, just screaming and lowering us, saying, who do you think you are? This means that one should rage in his mind against the animal soul, which is his evil impulse, with a voice of stormy indignation. Saying to it, indeed, you are truly evil and wicked, abominable, loathsome and disgraceful, and so forth. Using all the, the epithets by which our sages have called it. 
and the, and the calls it Be'emes, the truth. And saying that this, the Yetzirah is truly called in those names, the evil, the wicked, and all, all of these names. Why are you saying the, the truth? Because we mentioned before that even the other side is really the evil inclination, or is really the intention is to challenge us so we become stronger. But really, in that level where the evil goes down, it is really truly evil. And saying to the to the nefesh abaham is saying to the animal soul to the yitzchaver, ad mosai tastil lifnei oyrin soy baruchu. How long will you obscure the light of the blessed Ein Sof? Ame malakol almin oyohiv ve'iye b'shove gam b'mokem zeshani olov k'moisho oyrin soy baruchu. The light of the blessed Ainsov, which pervades all the worlds, which was, is, and will be the same, even in the very place where I stand, just as the light of the blessed Ainsov was alone before the world was created, utterly unchanged. So that is the truth. And you, the Yetzirah, you're obscuring that truth. As it is written, I, the Lord, have not changed, meaning the fact of creation has wrought no change in him, for he transcends time and so on. And therefore, the fact that it is now after creation cannot affect him. That is the truth. However, the evil tries to conceal this. But you repulsive one and so forth, you deny the truth, which is so plainly visible that all is truly as nothing in his presence. A truth which is so apparent as to be visible to the eyes. Now, having done this, now the Rebbe says, this will allow the godly soul to shine and to see the truth. In this way, he will help his divine soul enlightening its eyes to perceive the truth of the unity of the infinite light of the Ein Saif. As though with physical sight and not merely through the lesser perception of hearing and understanding. When the animal soul is crushed, the godly soul sees that this is, this is the real, true reality. Hashem is the true reality. For as explained elsewhere, this is the core of the whole divine service. So intellectual comprehension, meaning the hearing of godliness, can lead only to a desire and longing for God. The level of perception describes as sight leads far higher to one's Self nullification before him. So, this is the end of today's shir. The Alta Rabbi teaches us yes, when we feel sometimes the numbness of the heart, we feel we're, it's then we're unresponsive. So, we have the crushing down of the evil inclination and the screaming and raging against it and having the persistence to want to do the right thing and want to without going into arguments, just putting it in its right place. And that will help us, as we'll learn tomorrow, how it will help us to bring out the inner joy that we have in Hashem. Thank you for joining. We'll see you tomorrow. Hashem.